I'm really excited today because we're going to make bacon and egg cheese croissants and Chef William stopped by to show us his recipe. Pretty exciting. Let's get started. to the Diabetic Diet Show. So I'm going to go through the ingredients. William's getting started. We're going to use a couple of rolls of the Pillsbury croissants and I'll let you work on opening those. We have some green onions, scallions, that's what I was going to call them. And we're going to use eggs today, two, four, five eggs. For bacon, we're going to cheat and we're going to use the pre-cooked bacon, showing you how to do something in a hurry in the morning. And we are using both milk and heavy cream. That's pretty heavy. And for cheese, of course, you have to use cheddar when William comes over, because this is his favorite. And we'll have a little bit of salt and pepper in there along with it. So I have the bacon that I threw in the microwave. I'm going to go grab that. I have the oven preheated to 375. And uh, I guess I'll throw it to you and let you work on things. I'm going to cut up the bacon. I threw it in the freezer to chunk it up a little bit. And you OK there? You need a hand rolling that out? Good. I would just roll them there, or you want to do them here? No, I'll trade you. Go ahead. <laughs> Gotta get my belly some roll. <laughs> oh, you know, for the bacon, like I told you earlier, I'm gonna cut the bacon off with scissors. I cheat, and I like to use scissors on this. So I don't even need the cutting board anyway. Like this, William, is this how you, when you cut? Oh, yes. William's family is lucky because he cooks all the time. I'm sure his mom probably gets breakfast in bed every morning. Probably around the, around the crack of 7 a.m. He goes creeping up the stairs with the tray. One for his brother, one for his mom. Fully cooked breakfast with fresh orange juice, squeezed lemon. <laughs> and then he's cutting them up. So he's rolling these out like this and laying them out in the dish like this. This looks good. It's funny because I can smell that bacon. Okay. We need to crack some eggs, don't we? Yes. Okay, are we done with the cutting board? Yes. All right, we'll crack some eggs. And I'm gonna use two hands. I don't wanna show off using one hand because I'm trying to do the anybody can do this show. Yeah. One suggestion, doing eggs, flat surface. Do not do on the edge, like here, because you can force bacteria into the egg. Like that. Yeah, we just add all the ingredients together and mix it. All right, we have them all here. It was a cup of milk and it was a cup of heavy cream. I'll get these out of your way while you dump that in there. If you have 
haven't used that whip before, I don't know if you've used that fancy new whip, kind of start slow with it. It kind of does a little kick. Stuff. Get these out of your way. Yeah, I don't know how much of that you want. Use as much as you want or as little as you want. Cheddar. Would you use about a half a bag? Yeah. Be a good guess. Most people use a quarter of a bag. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you like a half a bag. I made uh, a really good recipe last night. If you want to check it out, I made it with mozzarella cheese, and of course, I use the whole bag. It's a uh, a Greek recipe. You'll see it in my. Uh, lineup of shows. Get all this out of your way. It's nice to have help. You got somebody cleaning up after you. Five minutes? 25. Yeah, we'll check it. We'll check it after 20, see what it looks like. You know, ovens vary from one oven to another. You know, yours at home might be different than mine here. Yeah, that'll work. That's my magic wand. That's, that's actually my secret how I make recipes. I just take put a bunch of stuff on here and then I use that wand. And it turns into a dinner in in 18 minutes. Well, I'm Go ahead. Reminds me of the guy that had a very efficient housekeeper. He got out of bed to go to the bathroom. He came back. His bed was made. Okay. <laughs> Let me just put this in the oven. All right. Go past it. Yeah, you go past it, and I'll get the door for you. Okay, it's gonna be hot. Stand back. That big rush of heat into your face when you open that door. And set the timer. 20 minutes we'll do, and then we'll check it. Should be about done. <laughs> it was good timing. There we go. Turn off the stove. Wow, does this smell good, William? It looks amazing. Wow. Now we have to let this sit for about four or five minutes to cool, so I'm not going to dish it up yet. We're going to sit and drool over it, but <laughs> that's the show for the day. I hope you've enjoyed it. Come back and see us again next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, let's do a question of the day. If you like eggs, hit the thumbs up button. Everybody that likes eggs, hit the thumb up button right now, and we will see you next time.